Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. That's right, today we're doing some more walking and talking because, um, yeah, you know, I like making these videos, especially now during this situation. What situation? This situation. You already know, the same one we're all going through around the world right now. So, in today's episode, um, we're just gonna be talking about a few random things in my head, but I, I, again, I wanna talk about what I think is going on. And um, what do I think is going on? Listen, you know, after much thinking, after much uh, mulling over all this situation, you know, on every side of the spectrum, look, I honestly think, you know, this is what we're gonna be discussing throughout today's episode, but I honestly think that they're just creating two teams, you know, the teams of uh, people like me, people like you, that refuse to comply with these insane measures. And then group number two, the people that are more than happy to, you know, kiss those boots, you know, um, pledge allegiance to the science flag, you know, wear their, you know, mark of the beast and all that shit. So that's basically it, it's two teams. You know, teams, you know, that are now fighting over each other. And again, we, we even before anything happened, we were already having a situation. A situation in which we already were having plenty of teams, you know, starting to battle it out. Where there was, uh, you know, black versus white, female versus male, you know, young versus old, pink haired versus black haired, bald versus haired tall versus short whatever man you already know the deal and so now all of a sudden everything is just uh you know got thrown into a giant blender mixed up real quick and uh, boom here we are you know into this dystopian world that we're living in right now which is kind of nuts by the way i'm kind of walking in the middle of the street here a little bit you know not just for context but also um you know to get as ma much sun as possible as as tempting as it is to be in the shade I need, I need my immune system at 1000% right now because uh, since all of us are holed up in the house, you know, we need that vitamin D, we need uh, the exercise, we need uh, to have our bodies absorb, uh, you know, the, the proper vitamins and the proper everything. I need my immune system at, at its strongest. I was listening to some Joe Rogan this morning with uh, Dr. Ron DePatrick on there, you know, laying out the information, laying out the law, you know, the the real science the real knowledge that we have and uh, even as she was talking she was being extremely careful as to what she was saying because her overlords you know they don't think that you know taking uh, vitamin c is uh, important anymore you know they don't think that you know taking vitamin d is important they don't think that you know strengthening your immune system is important in fact they don't think any of those things are important they want to you know stick you with the vaccine they want to stick you with drugs you know, they want to just keep, uh, you know, going with business as usual, which is not going to work. All right. I mean, well, that's the thing. You know, that's what I say. That's what a lot of us say. But um, but we're seeing as well, just from like, uh, you know, that's why I put uh, George Carlin. I made an episode about George Carlin, by the way. I'm glad you guys loved it and it was well received. Made me feel really good. Big George Carlin fan, as you can, as you can tell. But um, but what I wanted, wanted to, you know, what I was bring, what I was realizing as I was doing that, was I'm sure the same thing that a lot of us have been realizing was the fact that, we're, we're in a sense again, it's it's just two teams here, you know, the teams that you know, Team A, which is you know us, you know, the people that you know start using critical thinking, um, common sense, you know, uh, <laughs> just you know putting two and two together, you know, just things like that, and then the other people. The ones that refuse to think. The ones that want the government to tell them what to do. The ones that, you know, um, they can't listen to themselves. They can't listen to, to anything. They can't have any critical thinking, any of that. You know, they just want to be NPCs. You know, they just want to be told what to do. They want to be mindless automatons. And that's basically who, what we're dealing with right now. A bunch of mindless automatons versus a bunch of people that are awake. And again, you know, these uh, individuals that are doing all of these things to us, you know, keeping us indoors, you know, throwing us all uh, these agendas, all of these things, you know, they are basically, you know, how, how is the, the whole control thing working? You know, again, it, it's basically that, you know what I mean? It's all about compliance. So that's why I walk without my mask on. 
that's why i refuse to you know adhere to these insane protocols that make absolutely no sense like most of us know and think and you know by the way i'm i'm i'm, on, I'm walking because my bike i have to fix it so i gotta look up at a youtube video and i gotta figure out how to fix it on my own so that way um, i can get back to riding a bike but right now you know the only way that i can fix my bike man see look that person just came from walmart full of groceries that's where i'm going right now i'm going to walmart i'm hoping to god i don't gotta stand in line i tried to wake up as early as possible it's like 10 in the morning right now on a saturday but everybody just got paid yesterday so and they just extended uh semi extended the uh, the whole quarantine out here again just a handful of people dead and yet everyone's willing to close everything for for nothing you know what i mean just for 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 nothing you know that's basically what it is so you know again as i was doing the video on george carlin as i've been listening to more and more things as i've been just putting together everything here trying to figure it out trying to be detective on my own i realized very, really quickly that it's really not that complicated it's a lot of the things that george has always been saying and a lot of us know already you know the fact that yeah there's a handful of people there's a big club and you ain't in it and um you know just so that's a handful of people you know like around uh i don't know three to six thousand people give or take i don't know anyways and these are the ones that rule the fucking world and then when it comes down to like just where i am you know and my local government whether it's this the same thing goes for all of us out here you know your your um your state legislation your government meaning uh your governor your mayor you know all of these people that are in your local politics you know they're all dumb to, to on purpose they're all supposed to be stupid on purpose they, so a lot of times when they make stupid decisions or stupid uh or things that just don't make any sense well that's because they don't know what the fuck they're doing and that's exactly how the people in power want it because again it, it's it's pretty pretty obvious you know so right now um let's say a place like here or other places like in the u.s or the world in which man i need to get a little bit of shade it is really hot i don't want to be getting there with the fever right <laughs> anyway but um yeah you know basically what i was uh, getting at was a point that you know that's how they get a lot of these agendas um move, moving along because it's like they don't have like really smart people like implementing a lot of this stuff they got just uh you know regular old joe that works at the police station you know as a local um you know uh what is a politician so on and so forth and you know these guys already have limited intelligence limited abilities and now all of a sudden you're asking them to to deal with like a pandemic and deal with like all this crazy stuff which it's very hard for them to do in the sense of like just simply because look how hard it is for the average person the average human out there to deal you know how hard it is for them to deal with all this propaganda to deal with all this these things that are going on to try to decipher things again like i just take my own personal uh my own personal story you know meaning that like you know look how how long it's taken me to just kind of figure this obvious thing out here so i can't even imagine someone that's not even thinking as deep as me or wanting to think as deep as me and you're just kind of following orders you know making sure that the people are happy making sure that you know that they get reelected, that whatever you know what i mean um <laughs> and so when you start like really analyzing things and just you know saying and they just you know realizing that humans are just humans um doing human things um things are a lot easier to swallow things are a lot easier to understand and so on and so forth so you know again you know the, the, the people in power really don't care they say it all the time as long as we print the money we don't give a fuck who runs this shit we don't care who rules we don't care just as long as we control the money so again you know what more what more evidence do you want than like what's going on with um behind the scenes you know with all the money printing with uh the you know the the dollar you know just getting printed into oblivion all kinds of currencies around the world getting destroyed um just the economic devastation that's happening everywhere the collateral damage that we not only did we know was going to be worse but now we're realizing that it is worse because we're already deep into this quarantine situation and yet nobody cares nobody's talking nobody anything we people complain but that's it 
nobody does anything about it and um that's the thing you know that's why it can be frustrating for an individual like me and other individuals out there like you guys where you know we want to fight this we want to go up against this you know we're tired of all this shit, but the reality is is that well, there's nothing we can do you know we're all kind of like stuck like chuck so it's extremely frustrating that's for sure and there's nothing that we can really do except um you know just um in a sense like live with what we have right now and then on top of living with what we have right now you know we also have to yeah i'm trying to see if i can stay here on the other end i think i'm gonna cross and again see there's a lot more people out you saw that guy just having his lunch not really giving a shit. great awesome wonderful um and that whole thing you know what i mean like it's just um even they have uh, getting grown tired of this shit. um which is hilarious, you know what I mean? Like in the sense of like, when I was talking to an Uber yesterday, and I and they were and they, they were really frustrated with uh, the situation, wondering when all this is gonna end, wondering when we're gonna go back to normal and all this shit. And I go, listen, man, none of this shit's gonna get fixed until the people have had enough and everything does go back. You know, the people demand it to go back to normal. Otherwise, it's not gonna go back to normal. It's just not, and that's the reality of it. You know what I mean? So. You know, right now, this is going to be the new normal and it's going to continue being the new normal and, and so on and so forth. Because, again, the people are, they want to do this. They, they want to be under this, um, you know, situation, which is against insane. Like, look at this overkill right here next to me. It doesn't make any fucking sense, you know, to be in a situation like this at all. I'm not even making any fucking eye contact today or even anything. I'm just fucking, you know, barreling through to do what I got to do. And that's it. And that's all part of the universe thing, you know, because, you know, for me, you know, I, I think a lot of the why, why I got stopped and why I had been harassed is because I kept putting it out there in the universe. I was so pissed that I was like, yeah, fuck it. I want them to say something. I want to say something. I want to get in a fight. I, all that shit. And so I've kind of given up on that. You know, again, that's why I'm making this episode, you know, talking about the fact that there's only so much we can do and that's take care of ourselves and, um, you know, again, we have a, the frustration comes from the fact that like, you know, they seem to have been taking all our rights, taking all our privileges away, taking all our freedoms. But the thing is, is like, again, like George Carlin said, we never fucking had them to begin with. And this is a realization a lot of people are fucking having right now. I already fucking knew it. So in my case, it's more like, you know, I'm just here patiently, like in prison, like waiting, like everybody else, just waiting and waiting and waiting but again what am i doing am i just fucking hanging out in prison doing absolutely fucking nothing um no i'm in prison you know getting jacked reading my books getting an education in fact maximizing all the fucking time that i have in this fucking prison so that when i come out of that fucking prison i'm gonna be fucking kicking ass and i'm not gonna be putting myself in a position to be put back in prison so again if i see that where i'm living turns into like the united states or turns into some totalitarian crazy fucking environment i'm out i'm fucking out and that's simple as that and uh, you know this is the reality of it and um you know i think a lot of people are in the same boat um but they don't know what to do you know a lot of people are you know we're all on the fence right now so what am i doing i'm looking at other places that that are not going through this uh quarantine situation so i'm looking at portugal i'm looking at belarus I'm looking at Sweden. I'm looking at many, many things and realizing that, you know, there's a lot of other places out there. By the way, those are the only three places I know of. If anyone out there is watching or if anyone out there is in an area, in a place in which, uh, you know, your state has remained open, things are still remaining open, your state, your country, your everything, let me know. Oh, look at that. They just put in a brand new. So that's another thing too I have been noticing about everything that's going on. They have been putting a brand new, um, they've been putting a lot of new stuff in. So like that, that um, semaphore, I mean, that, uh, that light post right there is brand new. Um, I've noticed that they've been fixing streets in the centro and so on and so forth. So again, man, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, the government might be acting stupid, but at the same time, it's like, well, they just, you know, they're taking this time um, to fix the streets, fix the location, fix a lot of the things that needed to be fixed around uh, certain areas that, normally they couldn't fix because there's too much traffic too much 
stuff going on and so on and so forth so yeah man it's uh, definitely interesting and uh, every place is very interesting even places I'm, I'm looking at videos from all over the place right now and there's even places that have um you know uh what do they call it they're like in belarus and stuff like that where there is no lockdown but yet people there knowing you know fully well that there's nothing to worry about the president isn't buying any of this stuff you know any any of this propaganda the president is on our side you know meaning you know i'm talking about belarus yet still the people in belarus are scared and wearing their mask and being extra careful even though they, they know that this is a lie this is bullshit they're not gonna get sick to that point but still like they all said just in case so that's how strong that propaganda is so imagine in a place in which everyone is worried sick the actual government is either worried sick or uneducated to the point where they are falling for the trick just like everybody else and then we're seeing the, the mess that we're in you know again it's still early but i'm definitely seeing a lot more traffic you know there was a lot of traffic through all this area yesterday and so on and so forth and um it is what it is it is saturday everyone got paid yesterday and all that shit but you know everywhere i look i see people like breaking the rules look at people see two people sitting in a car there everyone's wearing a fucking face mask but you know it is what it is so i'm gonna start approaching uh you know the walmart because i'm out here i'm actually here to get an air pump believe it or not because i bought a pool um the other day and i wanted to inflate it and put it in there but i only had like a little bicycle pump and uh let's just say it didn't work out very well so now i'm here to see if i can get an air pump in order to pump this mother effer up so i can get some uh some air so i'm looking in at this it seems like there's no line no nothing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go inside all right see i'm going inside the walmart here all right and i'm gonna catch up with you guys i'm gonna catch up with you guys when i get out of here okay i'm gonna try and get in here now there's no line or no anything and then we'll chat in a little bit all right guys all right see you guys in a few <laughs> all right so i just got out of the walmart as you guys can see i already got my bag full of stuff back here got my other bag full of goodies I was gonna take an Uber home, but again, I, I didn't buy as much. All right, guys, well, I'm already done here. It's time to get back to. Hey guys, this thing keeps running out of battery, so I'm just gonna make a quick ending here. Hey guys, I ran out of battery. Both batteries are dead. I don't know what the hell's going on anyways. I just wanted to make a quick uh, ending here. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Love you guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys got a few more clips. Uh...